Hey, Zane here. Um, I gotta tell you something. Uh, you may not realize, but obesity, insulin resistance, and type 2 diabetes are all really uh, defense mechanisms that our body uses to help deal with uh, sugar coming into our system. Now, I know we see those things as, as type of, you know, types of disease or, or uh, a pathway to disease, which they are, but they're really, it's the way our body is dealing with, uh, it's the way it deals with too much sugar. And now, what kind of sugar? You might ask. I'm glad you asked. Uh, glucose and fructose. So, but primarily those together uh, is what sets this off. Now, everybody says, "Well, fructose—that's the natural sugar, or it doesn't have an effect on insulin." Uh, yeah, we. It, what it is a natural sugar when it occurs in fruit, and you got covered in fiber and a whole fruit. But when you have large concentrations of fructose, like we have in table sugar, high fructose corn syrup fruit juice, really, which don't, nobody needs to be drinking fruit juice. Uh, those large concentrations of fructose um, are really toxic. So there's, there's, a, there's a saying from this uh, physician from the German Renaissance way back like 1500s. It's uh, the dose makes the poison. His name was Paracelsus, so if you wanna look that up. But uh, the dose makes the poison, which basically means uh, at, at some level, a large dose, almost anything can be toxic. And so fructose and glucose together especially, uh, hitting our system becomes toxic and our body, body has to know what to do with it. Well, with glucose, it's easier because we have most of our cells in our body and our muscles and, and our, our brain, all of our organs, they can deal with glucose, they can burn glucose. So we start shoving that insulin, with insulin shoving that into those muscles, smooth muscles, skeletal muscles, to burn off. But our liver is the only thing that can process fructose. And so when we have sugar, which is half glucose, half fructose, or high fructose corn syrup, which is 55% fructose, 45% glucose, so, so almost the same, so coming into our system, and yeah, we have all of our muscle cells through the glucose, but only the liver can do with all the fructose, and that's half that of that table sugar, or half the sugar that's in your soda. Um, most sugar that's in the juice, you've got a problem. And especially since high fructose corn syrup's in bread, in cereals, in just about any processed food you pick up on the shelf, um, it's really a problem for our body to get rid of. And so it starts dealing with it when shoving into cells. So we get obesity because we're not burning it off. Then once the fructose is going to the organs, it's, it's creating fatty liver. And then that fat, once it gets overloaded, it starts putting triglycerides and, and HDL, or excuse me, VLDL, LDL cholesterol into our system, and then shoving that fat into other organs. Okay, so we have more insulin resistance, which means we, you know, it's saying no more, no more glucose. So we're shoving it out into our organs as fat, which it converts to fat. And then eventually, there's too much fat in the organs, specifically the pancreas, and we stop making insulin. So it starts, we just start you know, basically passing it out, passing the glucose out through our urine, and you've got full-blown type 2 diabetes. So it's a way of dealing with saturation of sugar and the result of sugar, which is the, the fat it, uh, our liver creates from that fructose um, that's put into organs, way of passing it out, trying to get out of our system. And the only, the only solution is to reduce, or you know, as much as you can, eliminate it from your diet, and then allow the body to reduce and eliminate it from its cells. We have to get it get, first get out of our body, out of our diet, and then we can cleanse it out of our body, out of our cells, and start reducing the fat in our organs, and uh, reducing the visceral fat, and getting the, all the excess glucose out of our cells so that we can become more insulin sensitive again. Um, it's, it's a real problem, it's reversible, but it takes some work, and it takes some discipline, and it takes cleaning up our diet. Uh, now, I realize it's confusing. It's not maybe not what you've heard before. Uh, but if you have any questions, please post them in the comments below. Um, because, I mean, there, there is a way to do it. There is a way people are reversing, even reversing full-blown diabetes now through uh, dietary protocols. It's not, it's not a, a hardcore workout. It's not medication. It is because adding more insulin is actually adding to the problem. It's making insulin makes everyone gain weight. Adding more insulin, hyperinsulinemia, okay, is adding to the problem. You're just shoving more uh, sugar into cells and fat into organs. 
So that's what's going on anyway. So it's not a medication. These are dietary protocols uh, that are reversing the hyperinsulinemia, the, the insulin resistance, uh, high insulin levels in the body, and even to, to, to the degree of reversing type 2 diabetes, which they thought was not possible. So again, questions, please post in the comments below. If you know someone that could benefit from hearing this, uh, please share or tag them in the comments. Uh, but I'd love to hear from you. So um, again, let me know if you have questions and I'll be do my best to answer them. Talk to you later.